So, I just want to take a moment to go over uh, some of the rhythms that we're going to use on the kit for a song called Funga Lafia. And I've got kind of four different phases here that we're going to go through. And the first part is to play this pattern. Sometimes we call this a clave pattern. Some people call it a one bar clave or a three beat clave. But this is going to be kind of like the underlying heartbeat or the skeleton of the song. And you hear it in lots and lots of different songs, pretty much anything in two and four beats, uh, especially New Orleans music. So check this out. We've got something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One e and a two and three e and a four and one e and a two and three e and a And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that on the kick drum. One, two. Here I go. So you can see that down here. We've got one e and a two and three e and a four and one e and a two and three e and a So I'm going to keep that on my kick. And in the next stage, I'm going to add the hi-hat. That's going to be on the and every time. One, two. Alright, so that's where we're at right now. We got the kick playing that clave rhythm. We got the hi hat playing kind of like the backbeat in a way on the ands. Now, when we get to the last phase, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another note on the hi hat so that I'm playing complete eighth notes over and over. So, what I mean by that is one and two and three and four and. But notice every time on the first beat, I play uh, softer. It's got parentheses around it. So I'm going to play either what we would call a tap or a ghost note, something like that. So instead of playing one and two and where everything's equal volume, I want the first note to be softer and the second note to be louder. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's what's going to go together with the foot playing that clave rhythm. So I'll put that together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there's actually one more phase. On the very end, I added one more note. That's going to be on the snare drum. So we're only going to do that at the very end of the pattern. So the complete pattern here, you can play along with your music, is going to sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. So play along with that, use your music, let us know if you've got any questions.